Okay, good morning and welcome to a new Masechta, Masechta's Megillah. Uh, of course, Dav Beis. We know Masechta start from Dav Beis, number two. If you've been with me for other Masechtas, you also learned this unbelievable uh, secret of the Talmud that it starts from Dav Beis, not from Dav Aleph. I explain why in a different share, but I want to talk today about how many times I've learned Masechta's Megillah. Um... I can't say it's the Masechta I've learned the most because I think Sukkah edges that out because there was one time a couple years ago I decided for just some random reason to see how many times I can learn Sukkah in a row. I was able to learn Masechta Sukkah seven times in a row uh, within a period of like a little more than a month. So I learned Masechta Sukkah seven, seven times. Even one day I learned 19 blot in one day. Can you believe it? 19 blot in one day. What's your name again? Yosef? Yitzchak. Yitzchak. Lamati. Chasrei Dapim. 19 pages of Gemara. Mizach HaSukha. Biyom Echad. Tamamin li? Ken. Ani Lamati. Mizach HaSukha. Sheva Pamim. Beksad Yoter Mechodesh. A little more than a month. But Mizach HaMegillah, I've learned... I think the second most amount of time. I don't know. I always learn Masechus Megillah. There's always make them see them, whatever. You join a kolo, they learn Masechus Megillah. I don't know. Everyone loves Megillah. And I'll tell you a quick anecdote. When I was uh, in eighth grade, I think after eighth grade, after seventh grade, I went to Camp Doro Golding. Uh, usually I went to co ed camps, but for some reason my friends were going to Camp Doro Golding. Not a co ed camp, but a modern Orthodox camp. And I guess maybe a little more yeshivish. And uh, one of this guy, he wanted to get me to learn. You know, I was into collecting frogs or skipping rocks or playing basketball. And he wanted me to learn. So he gave anyone, I think it wasn't just me, he gave incentive to anyone. Anyone who learns Masechus Megillah with him and finishes the Masechta through the two months of the summer will get a free airplane ticket to Florida. Now... I don't know why or how I did it. I was not learning at all. But for some reason, I decided to take him up on the offer. And we learned every single day. I didn't learn anything. I never remember learning anything in school. I hated learning Gemara or Torah. I, I wasn't for it. But trip to Florida sounded very appealing. I finished the Masechta. And I never heard from the guy again. That guy, I don't know what his name was. I forgot. The guy lied through his teeth. He got me to learn Masech Megillah. He never gave me the tickets to go to go to Florida. He owes me that tickets. If you're listening out there, whatever your name is, I forgot his name. You know that's not right. You know, it leaves a bad taste in my mouth. And people will say, "Ah, oh, now he learned Lashma. Now he learned Masech Megillah Lashma because he didn't do it for the reward." I'm telling you, I want those tickets. I want that ticket to Florida. Come and give me my ticket. All right. I earned it. All right. On that note, we're going to start with Zach Megillah. That is Megillah. Nikres, Beit Aleph, Beit Beis, Beit Gimel, Beit Dal, Beit Advav, Lopachos, Yoser. The Megillah is read, uh, could be read potentially on five days. Uh, 11th of Adar, 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th. Lopachos, Yoser. Not more and not less. Krachan, Mokaf, and Choma, Mimos, Yeshua, Benun. Um, walled cities that were had their wall intact from the time of Yeshua Beno when he conquered Eretz Israel. Korin and Vav. Those cities read on Ted Vav. Yerushalayim happens to be a walled city. <coughs> it was walled since the time of Yeshua Beno. And therefore, anyone who's in Yerushalayim, we know they celebrate uh, Purim on the 15th of Adar. Kfarim Vayaros Gedolos Korin Vyadalad. If you're a village, or you're a big city, but you're not walled from the time of Yeshua Benun. You read on, like most places, on the 14th of Nis of Adar. El Shakfar Magdim Liam Aknisa. But villages, villagers have the ability sometimes to read earlier. The Yom Aknisa, Yom Aknisa is Monday and Thursday, where the Bati Dinim and the big cities adjourned. Um, so they were coming in for Bati for, for court cases. Sometimes we're going to see they were allowed to read early. Um, when they came in for the court cases on Monday or Thursday, and that's why you have Yud Aleph, Yud Beis, and Yud Gimel. 
Kezad. So the Mishnah really systematically goes through what happens every day. What happens when Purim falls out on each day. Kezad. If Yadalit other falls out on a Monday, the villages and the big cities, they read on that day. The walled cities on the 15th, on Tuesday, if uh, Purim falls out on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, the Kfarim have the ability to go and read the Megillah, uh, and read the Megillah earlier. Uh, the reason they were allowed to read on Monday and Thursday is because hard. They didn't know how to read most of the people in the village. So people in the big cities knew how to read. So when they came in for the the court cases, they'd be able to hear the Megillah also. So Kfarim Magdilim Liam Aknisa, they go back to Monday, which would be um, either uh, Yud Gimel. Or you'd base. Vayaros gedolos korin bavayom. The big cities read on the day of Yedal. The mukavas chama lemachar, and in the walled cities on Tedvav. Chal yos bechamishi. If it falls out on Thursday, kvar vayaros vayaros gedolos korin bavayom. The villagers are there anyway. They're in the big cities anyway, so they read on Thursday. The mukavas chama lemachar, and the walled cities on Friday. Chal yos erev Shabbos. Let's say. Had Yadal, it falls out on a Friday. Kfarim Magdil Yom Akhisa, the Kfarim could read on your Gimel. Vayaros Gdolos, Mukavos Chama, Karn Bobayom. The regular cities, they read on that day. That's their day. And Mukavos Chama, the Mishnah says, they actually read a day early because we're going to see you can't read the Megillah on Shabbos because the Gzeira Shema, you're going to carry the Megillah in Risharabim. So they had to read a day earlier. Chalios b'Shabbos. If Purim Yudal fell out on Shabbos, Kfar Mayarik Tzedolos Makdim and Karan Liyam Maknisa. The villages and even the big cities they go not not back to a Friday, but they go back to already Thursday, which is Yud Gimel. This is what a case where even Ayarik Tzedolos to read on Yud Gimel. The reason being is because I'm sorry, not Yud Gimel. They read on. Um, on your base, they would read on your base. Uh, they read on Thursday. I think there's a difference of opinion. We'll see. Some say that I guess those would actually read on on uh, your gimel on Friday. Mukavos chama lemachar and the wall cities read on Tedvav on Sunday, which is a normal day. Chali al zachar Shabbos. If Purim falls on a Sunday, kfarim magdili amaknisa. This is the case where you have yidal if the kfarim read even on the eleventh of Adarak. That's the last Yom HaKnisa on Matla, the previous Thursday. They are still as current Boba Yom. And the big cities, they read that day on the 14th. There's a Sunday. And the wall cities read on Monday the next day. Mara says, Megillah Nikris Bidalif Minolan. How do you know the Megillah could be read on Yidalif? Minolan, the Gemara asked, the Bainal Mehmer Kamat. We have a reason for that. Chamekilu. The Gemara is going to say that there's a reason that Chazal allowed them to read early. Now, we said before the reason they're allowed to read early is a convenience for them. They don't know how to read the Megillah, so the day they went into the Bati Dinim, be able to hear the Megillah. That's also true. And there's really a second reason. We'll see if they're related, these two reasons, is that they wanted them to be read early because then. Another reason they want to read on early is because let's say they read on your olive, you read your gimel, then you dial it. They often had uh, the supply chains. They were the producers. They were the China. They manufactured the goods in the villages. They made them. So they're able to bring the goods and the food that they also manufactured and produced to the to the cities, the big cities, and the walled cities, when they were celebrating Purim, to be free, they wouldn't have to be Osik and Kriyas Megillah at that time. So the Mars, that's the reason. So the Mars says, I'm not What we really meant to ask is this. All days that you could read the Megillah were a takana of the Anshikness Zagdola. Anshikness Zagdola were 120 Nevi'im, um, the end of the era of the first base on Migdash. The big Sadiqim. We have a Knesset Agdola nowadays. Interestingly enough, the Knesset in Israel is also 120 people. Um, I don't know how you would compare the piety of the, the Knesset nowadays to the Knesset um, at the end of Bias Rishon. Hard to compare the two, but they are the same amount of seats. <coughs> um, 
they established them. These are the do all Yudal Vitavav Tikun. If they only established Yudal and Tadvav when they made the, the Mirgal of Purim, Asurabon of Akrita Kant, the Kinu Anshakis is older upon them. Anshakis is also lived during the time of, you know, Gullah's Bavel when the story of Purim supposedly happened. It's actually, it's hard to understand exactly historically when. Uh, the story of Purim and Achashverosh really happened because there's no really uh, testimony in the Goyish works about the story. Um, there was King Xerxes and anti Xerxes split of opinion which king it was, Xerxes or anti Xerxes. Uh, two kings over there, uh, Persian kings, um, during the time of the Second Base Amigdash. We'll talk about this afterwards. Um, so they made Yadal Vitav Tiku and Azra Rabbana Akrita Kanta Kinu Anshak Sidola. The Rabbana are going to be okay or something, remove something. They're going to have to do a major. I thought I ain't based in Yachal. The mission says, ain't based in Yachal of Atal, they were based in Kabeiro. Azra Kzidola was a big based in. You can't, you can't uh, retract the words of a based in. Elim King Gadolman of Kachomin, unless you have more people and you're smarter than them. And presumably no one had more. That's smarter and had more people than Ajak and Zidola. El Pshita, Kulu, Ajak and Zidola, Takinu. Rather, all of them, Ajak and Zidola, were Masaki, and all Yidal, if you basically will also. Hey, Karamisa, where do we find that Ajak and Zidola found a remez, found a hint in the Megillah to establish these days? Amar Hashem, Varaba, Amar Yochan, Amar Kra, Lakayim, Esimea, Purim, Ha'ila, Bismaneyam. Says the word to. Uh, keep the days of Purim in their time. It's my name, Harbet Tiklam. It's my name is a very long word, we'll see. So it's, it alludes that you should have a lot of times to read the Megillah. Haimi Bai Leil Gufa, the Marsha says, need it for the internal message of the Pasuk, Bismanayim. They were Misak and Bismanayim, Yadalad and Ted Vav. Marsha says, Im Kalim Akras Man. I could have just said, Lakai Mismaya Purim Ayela Bisman. My is my name. Why a longer word? Is my name too? A lot of days, more days. But I can't even violate. Still, you need it. My name is that low. Because my name is that. We'll see on my base. There's another drasha that we have to know. There's Yadalad and Ted Vav. But how do you know that the people who celebrate Yadalad can celebrate in Ted Vav? When you celebrate in Ted Vav, you can't celebrate in Yadalad. That's also from this pasuk. Because my name, their times, my name is that low. Should my name is that. M K L M across Zmanam. If it was just wanted to teach these two things, Zman, it could just said Zmanam. My Zmanayim. Why a long word? Shmasim Nakulo. You learn all three things from this word. Ema Zmanim Tuva. So maybe just could be a ton of times. I don't know. Even during Nissan. Even during February. I don't know. Even during uh, Shvat Davis. Whatever. Zmanayim uh, Dumia the Zmanam. Because it's a drush. Zmanayim is learned out of. Uh, it's it's learned zmanam and zmanam are really uh, at the same pasuk. Ma zmanam tre, just like zmanam is zmanu shazel lo kizmanu shazel refers to gedalat and tedvav. It's only two days, so therefore with the drasha which comes out of the same pasuk zmanam only adds two days. Ema tre service leisha. Why are we adding? Why is yudalif included? Maybe just twelfth and thirteenth. Two more days. Kama rosh wamer yitzchak yud gimel zman kila lecholhi velo sarach rebuye achanam yud gimel zman kila lecholhi velo sarach rebuye. We're going to see later on, Hashem Yitzchak says that the 13th of Adar was a day where everyone gathered together to wage war against the people that were supposed to kill them uh, in the Megillah. So that was a, a celebratory day. So that you don't need a to tell me. So therefore, I know Yud Aleph and Yud Beis. But Ema should serve a ship. So maybe it's afterwards, 16th and 17th of Adar. Well, Yavar, it says, well, Yavar, it says, well, Yavar, it shouldn't pass those days. So therefore, 16th and 17th. Are not included. Rashi Omer Nemeni Amar, he says Amar Krak Yamim Asher Nachol Bahemay Yehudim Yamim Ki Yamim The Rabbos Yidal of Yabes Ki Yamim the extra cuff Ki Yamim like the days Asher Why do they say Ki Yamim the other day the Asher Nachol Bahemay Yehudim Ki Yamim meaning just like the days of Purim which are Yidal and Tevav you also have Ki you also have other days which are like them so therefore two other days Yidal of Yabes the Emot Tracer of Tracer. Say again, same question, 12th and 13th. I'm Rashmal Bar Yitzhak, Yud Gimel Zaman Kila, Choli Yudal Sarach Rebuye. It's a very propitious time, uh, uh, monumental time. They all wage war, so therefore you don't have to include it. 
So you're left with Yidal if you basically include Amos should serve a shift. So same question. Why not 16 and 17? Lo Yavar, see if he also holds Lo Yavar tells you you can't go past the 15th. Rav Shemar Menachmeni, I'm my time with Omar is Maneim. Why didn't Rav Shemar Menachmeni? You learned it out of Kayamim. Why didn't you learn it out of Zmaneim? Zman Zmanam Zmaneim lo Mashba. It's not Mashba. I'm gonna make three drasha that are one pasuk. Rav Shemar Abba, my my time with Omar Mikiyamim. Why didn't he say Kiyamim? I'm gonna chalulu doros to say Kiyamim doesn't tell you other days. It tells you just like they celebrated in the days of Purim, where in the, the the year the miracle happened. Also, future generations also. Should celebrate those days. These are the words in our Mishnah of Rabbi Akiva, who is anonymous in our Mishnah. The Darish Zman Zman is Maneim. Avachacham Omrim Ain Kornasa Ela Bismana. Chum say there's no dispensation to read on Yudal if you'd be in your Gimel. Macy Vez is really true. I'm Rabbi Huda. Emma says Man Shashanim Kedikuna Yisrael Shrina Al Masa. When does this Mishnah apply? Our Mishnah that you have five days to read it. When before the destruction of the base of Migdash, when Israel is living in Eretz Israel and they're establishing the new moon based on the basin, and everything's very clear, and they have messengers sent out. Nowadays, after the destruction of the base of Migdash, and people are dispersed to other lands, uh, and people look what day they say, what day is Purim, and they say, uh, four, you know, 30 days later is Eretz Pesach. So they have to know exactly what it is. You have to read on Yodal and Tedvav. So my says, Rabbi Huda Aliba Daman. Rabbi Huda in this Brisa, who is he speaking according to? Ilim Aliba the Rabbi Kiva. If he's according to Rabbi Kiva, we just said before, Afilu Bizman Hazayisa. If Rabbi Kiva is the author of a Mishnah, so Rabbi Kiva lived predominantly after the base of Migdash, destruction of the base of Migdash. So therefore, he included even after the destruction of the base of Migdash. The height that can this to kind of is exists. El Lava Aliba the Rabban. It must be going according to the Rabban. It was Man Shashan Kedikun Mitzal Shon Al Masa Mia Karina. Even the Rabbanu would admit when before the destruction of Beis Hamikdash they would observe Yudal if Beis Gimel. So you see, there is no opinion. The Rabbanu at least hold of it partially. Tiyufta the Riyochanan Tiyufta. The Gemara says it's a rejection. Riyochanan Shita. Ikeda Amri. Alternatively, another statement. Amar Rab Rachanan Amri Riyochanan Zudi Rabbi Kiva Sti Masa. Our Mishnah Rabbi Kiva the anonymous. So Chamu Amri Amri is Manazeh Hold Mistakim by In Kornos to Elab is Mana. Chamim say that it depends before the destruction of Beis Hamikdash. Yes, after not. Tanya Amihachi, and we have a brace like this. I'm a Rabbi Huda, but Mesav is Manish Shashan, but the Guna Rabbi Charles Shreya Masan, I was Manazel, Mistakin by Inkor, and also Ella Bismano. We only read it during his times. Ravashi, Cash Lady repeated here. Ravashi has a question on one statement of Rabbi Huda, on another statement of Rabbi Huda. It seems to imply two different things. What's the question? Mukumla, on top of Basim and Aleph, Based on my base, the Mukim of the Brisa attributes to Rehuda. In order to answer the questions, he says the Brisa, which we just read, Tanya Nami Hachi, is Rabbi Yosef Rehuda, not actually Rehuda. Mia Rabbi Yosef Rehuda, holy, this is the question. Mia Rabbi Yosef Rehuda, Bismana Zeholm, Mistaklin by Inkorn, and Zabizman, did he really, was he really the author of the previous Brisa? Rabbi Minu, Amar Rabbi Yehuda, the Mishnah says later, Amar Rabbi Yehuda, Amos, Abiz, Malcolm, Shinechanas, Mishani, Mishani, when do they get to read earlier, the kfarim, the villagers on Monday and Thursday, when they go in, when places where they go into to the big towns on Mondays and Thursdays, they have their own courts in the villages. They don't go in. Then they only read on Yadal and Tedvav. You see what from this Mishnah that when they do go in, they have places where they do go in on Shani Vichamish, Mia Karina, Vafil Bismana Zed. Doesn't make any distinction between. This man of the base of Migdash, and afterwards, it seems all times Rabbi Yehuda would hold that it applies. You could read it earlier as long as you go in to the big cities on Shane Uh So that was the question. Mukhamal the Bryce of Israel, he says the Bryce on Amun Aleph is not Rabbi Yehuda, it's Rabbi Yossi Bar Yehuda, the son of Rabbi Yehuda. Mishum the cash lay, Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Yehuda. Mukim the Bryce of Israel, Rabbi Yehuda. So what? He had a question. One Bryce, uh, says, uh, one Bryce says, name of Rabbi Yehuda. One thing, and the Mishnah says in Rabbi Huda a different thing. So you're just gonna say randomly one is Rabbi Yosef Rabbi Huda. Shunta the Mishnah said Rabbi Yosef Rabbi Huda. That's his name. He was the son of Rabbi Huda. Uh, so the Gemara answers Rav Ashi Shmuel laid the ikad the tani lak Rabbi Huda began the tani lak Rabbi Yosef. He heard the brisa, the previous brisa. Some say it was said the name of Rabbi Huda. Some say it was the name of Rabbi Yosef Rabbi Huda. And with the cash lay, once he had this question, the Rabbi Huda, the Rabbi Huda. 
Amarman is Hanilak to Rabbi Yehuda, Lav Dafka. The one who said the previous price according to Rabbi Yehuda is not correct. Man, the Tanya Lak Rabbi Yosri Yehuda Dafka, the one who stated that the opinion in the previous price was really Rabbi Yosri Yehuda, that was the correct opinion. Krachan, Makafan, Chalm Yosri Yehuda, Shobin, and Karma Chamisha, Sarmanani Mili. So if you're a walled city, you're on the 15th. I'm a Ravad, I'm a Kral, can you hear them? I'm a Praz, I'm a Yosri, I'm a Praz. It says in the Megillah. The Jews that live in the unwalled cities. And the Prozim Bar Basar, they read on the 14th. The Prozim Bar Basar says specifically that the unwalled cities read on the 14th. Mukafim and Chamisha Sar. So we know Mukafim read on a different day. What day? The 15th day. They aim up Prozim Bar Basar. Mukafim Klakalo. Maybe it doesn't say a day for the Mukafim to read. Maybe they shouldn't read it at all. Only the unwalled cities read. The Lav Yisrael, are they not part of Kali? So they were also part of the miracle. Oh, me Hodu Vat Kushksiv. The miracle went from Hodu, from Turkey or from India, Al Kush, until Ethiopia, till Massachusetts. We'll talk about this soon. Um Al Kush Ksiv, it was most of the world was covered by this kingdom of Akashverosh. So they were also included in Ema Prozim Barbesar, Mukafin Barbesar Vikameser. So let's say what? The unwalled cities read on the fourteenth, and Mukafin can read either the fourteenth or the fifteenth. They can choose Ksiv. The Ozosim is Yomar Basar, La Khalisha Darvis, Yom Khamisha Sar. One Pazik says to do the 14th and the 15th. It seems seemingly you could do both days. But we call Shana and Shana. Whereas the Yaksiv is Yomar Basar, Vhamisha Sar. If it would have said, um, Yaksiv is Yomar Basar, Vhamisha Sar, Kitagamra. If it would have said, V with a Vav. It, it would be like you said, they should read the 14th and 15th. S Yom Arbasar, the S Yom Chamisha Asar, it says there's an S between them, or a word S between the two. Asa S, the S comes and distinguishes and says you don't read on both the 14th and 15th. Hani Bar Hani Bechamisha, the unwalled cities on the 14th and the walled cities on the 15th. They are a Prazim Bar Base, from Mukafni Bal Bar Base, or Baba Chamisha. So they don't read on, they don't have to read on the 14th and 15th. And maybe they can read either on the 14th or the 15th. You don't have to read on Dafka on the 15th. I'm a crab, Bismaneum. It says Bismaneum. Bismano Shazel, Lo, Bismano Shazel. Bismaneum is a drusha to tell me that the Zman of unwalled city is not like the, the Zman of walled city. So they must be on the 15th. The aim of a place arm. So fine, it can't be the same thing. Maybe the walled city should read on the 13th day when they had the war. So the Mars says Kishushan. It says Shushan was a walled city, most Achashverosh. And so it was Mimoz Achashverosh. There's an opinion that if, it's, if it was walled from the days of Achashverosh, it also has been of a walled city. So Shushan, they celebrate on the 15th, right? They had, they had extra war and they celebrated. They, they even waged war on the 14th and they settled and they were Nahu on the 15th. So Shushan was, and that was also the capital of their miracle over there. Shushan Abira is where Achashverosh lived. So therefore, Mustama, if we're going to add an extra day, we'll add it and the walled city will read on the 15th. Ashkan, Asiya, fine. So we found that in terms of Asiya, in terms of making a Suda and being Simcha, Mishlach, Manos, etc., that's part of the Pasuk. Okay, you my Prazim, my Yosh, my Prazim. It says uh, Asiya in the Pasuk. The Os Osim. Uh, what about Zahira? But we, our Mishnah is talking about reading the Megillah, Zahira. Zahira, Minal. How do you know you can read you read the, on on, uh, on Ted Vav in the walled cities? There's a different pasuk that connects between the, the Zakhira, the remembering, the reading of the Megillah, to the actual Asiyah, to the celebrating of, of Purim. So therefore, Zakhira would also be on the 15th. Our mission is not like the following Tana. says, that the walled cities from the time of Achashverosh, even they read on the 50th. My time is Shubin Karachai. Now, like our Mishnah, it says it has to be walled for the time of Yoshua, you know, much earlier when the conquest of Israel occurred. My time of the Yoshua Ben Karachai. Ki Shushan, it's like Shushan, it's similar, it should be similar to Shushan. Ma Shushan, Kavis Kalm Achashverosh, like Shushan, where the main miracle happened, was only walled from the time of Achashverosh. Karma Chamisha Sar. Uh, so to any place which is walled from the days of Achashverosh 
Also, we'll read on the 15th. Tana Didiana, our Tana, my Tama, why does he say only has to be bold from him of Yehoshua? Yalif Prozi Prozi. When it's Xer Shava, Prozi Prozi. Xiv Hacha, I can't hear them at Prozim. It says in the Megillah, Megillah says Esther, the Hudim at Prozim from the unwalled stage. Xiv Hacha, Levad Ma'arei of Prozi. It's Pasuk and Farim. When it's talking about the start of the conquest of Eretz Israel, Prozi there it says also, Harbem Ma'od. Just like there, it's talking about the era of Yeshua Ben Nun. Uh, so it has to be walled from his time. So too, in, in regards to Kriyas Megillah, on the 15th, it has to be walled from the days of Yeshua Ben Nun. Yeshua Ben Karka didn't say like our Mishnah, the late late Prazi Prazi. He doesn't hold the disk Zayar so he didn't have a problem. Why didn't our Mishnah say, like Yeshua and Karka, it's a, it makes sense to learn from Shushan. My time, the Lord says, my time, why this? They probably suppose the reason is because of Yerah Shava. Then the Lord says, ah, Yomar, El Shushan, the Avdinan, Kemat, Shushan, when they read on the 15th, who do they do? Like, Loka Prazim, Loka Mukafin. They're not like, according to to, to, to Artana, and the Mishnah has to be walled from the time of Yeshua and Nun. Shushan wasn't walled from the time of Yeshua and Nun, but yet, they read on the 15th. So who are they following that? They're not on wall, and they're not mukaf, and they're not wall at the time of Yeshua Ben-Nun. I'm Rish Rava. I mean, like, yeah, the Rav says, alternatively, he said it anonymously, shiny Shushan, a whole of Anasib Shushan is different than any other walled city because the miracle happened there. They were Kovayit, a special status to be on the 15th also. Bishlam Lutani Dan, Hainu Dixiv, according to our Mishnah, the author of our Mishnah, the Chesiv Medina Medina Ve'ir Ve'ir, says these words twice. Medina Medina Lechalek Ben Mukafin Choma Yeshua Ben Nun Mukavas Choma Mosa Chashverosh. That's to differentiate different provinces, different states differentiate between cities that were walled from the time of Yeshua Ben Nun. They read on the fifteenth, and Achashverosh walled from Achashverosh. They read on the fourteenth. Ve'ir Ve'ir Na Mi Lechalek Ben Shushan Lechar Yaros. Ve'ir Ve'ir. Tell me that Shushan is different than other Ayaras. Shushan read on the 15th, other cities won. El Yeshu ben Karcha, Bishlam, Medina, Medina, Lechalak, Ben Shushan, Lashar Ayaros. Medina, Medina comes to tell me Shushan reads on the 15th and Shar Ayaros on the 14th. Ela, Yer, Ve'ir, La Mayasa. What's coming to teach me? Amar Lechar, Yeshu ben Karcha, El Tan, Nidam, Minicha. According to our Mishnah, is it is it good? Kepan, the Isla, Prozi, Prozi, Medina, Medina, Lamli. One day it's a Jerry Shah, Prozi, Prozi, to learn out that it goes based on. Uh, on, on whether it was walled from the time of Yeshua Ben Nun, Medina Medina Lamali. I don't need Medina Medina anymore. It's a repetition. Ella Kral the Drasha with us. It must say that Medina Medina is for a different Drasha after Yeshua Ben Levi. Yeshua Ben Levi Drasha with us. Adam Yeshua Ben Levi. Krach we call a Samachlo. We call a Niri Modi that don't Krach. A walled city and anything next to it and anything seen with it has a din of a Krach. It doesn't have to directly be a walled city. Anything a suburb of a walled city will see has the din of a walled city, and they read on the 15th, Ad Kama. How far away does it have to be to be included, to be called a suburb? The amount of time it takes you to get from Khamtan to Tveria. Khamtan, I guess, is a place near Tveria, suburb of Tveria. Mill, at time, is a mill. Vilema mill. Why don't you say a mill? Mill, roughly a kilometer. Uh, not a mile. Uh, Believe in mill. Hakamash Falan, the Shiro, the mill, comma heavy, can come to the The reason it said mill also is to teach you how you measure a mill. Mill is not a mile, it's not an American mile. It's a, roughly a kilometer, closer to a kilometer. Um, 2,000 amos. Um, 2,000 amos. How many yards between 1,028 and 1,269 yards? Yards about three feet. So let's say that would be about 3,700 feet, which is about six tenths of a mile. A mile, I think, is 5,280 feet. So 3,700 or 5,280 is close to 60%. And the kilometer, I think, is 60% of a mile. There you have it. You have today's daf in under a half an hour. Join me for the rest of Masechus Megillah as the journey continues.